Hello everyone, this is Max with Avon Website Pro and today our lesson is going to be on your theme does not declare WooCommerce support. So if you're seeing this message, I'm going to show you how to get rid of it. Uh, stay tuned for this next tutorial. Okay, so whenever you click on this link where it says please, re please read our integration guide, it takes you to a page like this. And as you scroll down here, you'll, no you'll notice that you have to make a page called WooCommerce.php. So what you're going to have to do is log into your a website via your FTP. Maybe you have a cPanel with File Manager or a Plesk. However, we're go uh, I'm going to show you, uh, if you log in with the FTP, here's a file transfer protocol. And let me just go ahead and log into our site here. And you'll see the... Um, files and folders come up uh, on the, the right here. We want to navigate to web because I'm on ISP config. And we're going to scroll down here to WP content. This is if you were going to do it with FTP. I'm going to show you guys how to do it the, the, the fastest and easiest way. So here's themes. This is kind of like the slow, boring way. This is the way probably I started out, uh, you know, 20 years ago that I don't use anymore. But a lot of you are familiar with this process, and you can do it with this process. This is the theme that I'm navigating to. And basically, we're looking for this page.php, right? Now, here I would have to, to download or, or create a new file and copy that contents in it. However, uh, I'm going to use Shell. All right, all this you can do with an FTP, but you're going to be downloading and uploading a lot. So I like to show people the right way to do things, and Shell is the right way to do things. So let me type clear out here, and um, let me move my terminal into a window where you can see it. Let me open it up here, and I'm going to start connecting to my server. Now it's important you're not using root. You want to be using the you know the the name so the the permissions are in place where they need to be so you don't have any serious issues. And we're going to navigate to that home directory just for me as web because I'm on um, ISP config. If you are on cPanel, it's going to be you know public underscore HTML. If it's Plesk, it's going to be something different. But if I type in ls. This is the folder that we want to be in. We want to be able to see this WP content folder, okay? Because that's what we're going to navigate to. Uh, CD, which is change, change directory, WP content, just like that, okay? And then the next one we're going to navigate to is the theme, CD, T H E M E S. And then finally, if we hit LS, that'll give us a list of our uh, files and folders in here. We're going to navigate to this bootstrap. I'm just going to right click and copy that. Type in CD bootstrap. Let me clear everything out here and put it on a top. And you can see all the files and folders that I have within the theme. Okay. Now, according to uh, WooCommerce, what we want to do is copy the page.php file and then rename it to WooCommerce.php. Now instead of downloading, renaming, and uploading like you would have to do in FileZilla and other FTP programs, uh, all we do is use CP for copy. Okay, we we'll copy page.php to WooCommerce.php. Okay, and that's it. And now if I type in LS, we'll see that we have a WooCommerce file over here. See that? Okay, so we're going to copy that. Now we're going to go in and nano it, which is, this is an editor for terminal. Nano. We're going to go in there. By the way, in order to log into SSH, uh, you can use your, if you have cPanel, use your cPanel username, cPanel password with your IP address. All right. So let's go down here. And what the uh, instructions are is to re, you know, look for the loop. Okay, the loop in WordPress is usually it starts with if has post and it usually usually ends with end if. So if we scroll down here, we could see that this section right here if has post. So on a terminal, we can scroll down here 
and I'm going to hit start hitting control K I have to delete from this line clear down to this line okay so I'm going to start deleting right now with control K All right, and I don't need that section either. Okay. I'll leave that final div tag, and what WooCommerce says is just put this in there, right? And let me go ahead and put that in there for you. Okay, now I'm going to hit Control O to write it out, and let's see what happens in our. In our, on our website here so let me go ahead and bring this over here here you can see this 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 big picture and stuff like this this is before WooCommerce and now I'm going to do a refresh to see the changes that we've made and now we could see that you know this looks more like the pages that we have we don't have such a great big picture we have our read easy uh, normal reading, you know, if we wanted to hide the image and, and so on and so forth. And so now we have a better WooCommerce layout. All right. Now the next section, whenever if we scroll down here, this is a different method. This is called using hooks. Now you can do this. You would nano into your functions.php file and add this stuff right here. But we don't have to because we use the uh, we changed the page to WooCommerce. Now finally, whenever we come down here, we see declare WooCommerce support. We're going to go ahead and copy all of this and put this in our functions.php file. So I'm going to hit Control X to get out of here. I'm going to nano into functions.php. And I'm going to come down probably towards the bottom here. And uh, I've already done some stuff with... Uh, Bootstrap and WooCommerce. I'm going to go up, make sure that we're outside of a function. All right. And I'm going to just go ahead and paste that in there. So I declare WooCommerce support. I hit Control O, write it out. And then I'll go back to uh, A1 Website Pro and we'll refresh this page in the dashboard. And this particular message should disappear. Okay, and there it goes. It disappears. So that's how you get rid of that message on, you know, declaring, a, you know, your theme doesn't declare WooCommerce support. And remember, Shell, if you learn to do things in Shell, it's so much faster and easier than doing them in an FTP program that's also more secure. So uh, this is Max with Avon Website Pro. I hope this tutorial has helped you. If you have any questions or uh, anything, please comment below. Uh, thanks for watching.